Okay, in this one we're going to go over some of the starting character characteristics of the PSC motor. That is permanent split capacitor motor. And this is primarily the workhorse of all the fan type motors that we're dealing with. And while I'm at it, if it's a fan motor, there's a, a fan mounted to the shaft and it's not a hard start torque motor. It doesn't need to be. These motors are all designed for specific things. Uh, this one here is designed to start a fan motor that has little resistance to the rotation. So it uses a low starting torque. Okay, it's a capacitor motor. So I have a capacitor on it. Now this one's a 5 microfarad, kind of hard to see there, but take my word for it. Uh, this uses a 5 microfarad capacitor. Okay, I wanted to show you what the starting torque would be on this motor using that 5 microfarad capacitor. Okay, if you see what I've got here, I've actually got an inch pounds torque wrench on this thing. And I'm going to attempt to start the motor. It's not going to start because I'm going to be holding it back with this torque wrench. But you should be able to see how much torque this motor is capable of on start. Okay, with the torque wrench on there, we're going to go ahead and energize. If you look at this, you can see we're probably getting about, looks like about seven and a half pounds there's seven and a half inch pounds of torque to start this motor. Okay, now let's remove the capacitor and see what happens. Okay, you can see I've taken one wire off the capacitor, so the capacitor is no longer in the circuit. Now let's see if we can figure out what the torque is going to be on this thing without the capacitor. Okay, it really doesn't even read. It's maybe half a pound, inch pound uh, of torque, so it's very, very low. Plus, you might notice, it's hard to tell, but on the gauge, we're showing uh, half an inch or so of inch pound however this is counterclockwise and the motor with the capacitor was clockwise so interesting now so what has happened the there still is starting torque this thing will sometimes start it doesn't always start and if there were a blower wheel on it it wouldn't start at all uh, without that cap. Now the winding is a little bit out of phase as we talked about before because it needs to be a little out of phase to uh, essentially tweak the magnetism but it's not enough to put any real starting torque on this thing. It needs a cap to do that. So Let's, uh, let's go ahead and fire this thing off without the cap and without uh, the uh, torque wrench on it. Okay, torque wrench is off of it, and let's see if we can get it to start. Okay, it, it powers on it, it hasn't started. Okay, there it goes. Now that's counterclockwise. Clockwise. I don't know if you can see that too well, but it'll go either way. If I flip the blower wheel on one of these things backwards, it'll start backwards, regardless of whether you got a cap on it or not. Okay, so far what you found is we had a fair amount of start torque with the capacitor on it. We had almost no start torque without the capacitor on We actually had to flip it most of the time to get it to work. Occasionally if you hit it just right it will start. But it would not start with a blower wheel 
on it because the weight would keep it from starting. So a dead cap would be a uh, no rotation. Amp draw but no rotation. Let's try another little trick. Let's put a bigger cap on it. Okay, we're going to play a couple little games here with different caps. Now I've got a 5 microfarad cap on this one. It should run about the same as the other one. Uh, you know, this this cap right here because they are the same capacitance. Uh, and let's see if we get about the same torque with this uh, AMRAD cap. Okay, it looks like it actually might be just a little bit higher. Not much. Pretty close to the same, probably about 8 inch pounds. Okay, now we are at 7.5 microfarads. Okay, now the stark torque went up some. It didn't go up a lot. It went up to about 10 inch pounds. Okay. Okay, now we're at 10 microfarad. Yeah, it doesn't look like it made much difference. It actually went down a little bit. More like down to about 8 if you can stop the buzzing and jerking and stuff. Okay, here we are started with 20 microfarads. It actually went down a little bit. It's down to about 6. Let's try the max this thing will do is 50. Okay, you can see there we went down. We're about 2.5. So, uh, as you increase the capacitor size on these motors, it first starts to go up in starting torque and then down uh, as you get bigger. What that's due to is you're changing the amount of offset of the uh, uh, electromagnets. And so a little bit more seems to make the offset more effective on starting, but if you go any farther I think it just goes over center and drops back down again. So, uh, now I don't think I'm advocating putting bigger caps or anything in these motors. They were designed for a certain cap. If you use a different cap on them, uh, some say 20%, some say 10%, uh, plus or minus, they will uh, probably fail. The motor will probably kill itself. Uh, I don't know why it does it, but it does do it. So uh, leave this, the stock one on. That just gives you an idea of the torque. Now one other thing I wanted to note, and I just let go of this, it's, okay, it's not, there's a, almost no starting torque in this thing at all with a 50 microfarad on it. Okay, and that's about the last for the uh, capacitor and the starting torque on a PSC motor.